On a bright Monday morning, a police officer was flagged down near Pontiac Avenue and Marine Drive in Cranston, Rhode Island. A man was choking in a parking lot, his mouth agape in horror. Oh. I'm gonna pat you down. Yes, sir. Just put your into, into like your fingers. Mm -hmm. into like your fingers. Do you have any weapons on you? No, not at all. Yeah, try not to. Uh, okay. Uh, Oh, no way, dude. Really? Yes, <laughs> yes. The man was identified as Matthew Riley, a member of the Cranston City Council. Yeah, I was just on my way back from court. Bro. Uh, well, arrest is going to come check you out, man. I can't let you go. You were literally choking in your sleep. Somebody flagged me down about it. Oh, I have sleep apnea. I'm sorry. Well, and then you have a crack pipe in your hands, so it's like... Wait, sorry. A crack pipe used in public by a councilman. Three things that should never be associated. Listen, I, I have a body camera. Obviously, yeah, everything obviously. I have is recorded. You know that. And I, what I've observed is on camera, so I can't pretend I didn't. You know, so a is going to come here. Oh, and Jesus. they're going to check you out. You know, you, as far as I know, there's no drugs anywhere, so I None. can't. You know, so there's not a criminal investigation. There's more a health or well-being check type Thank thing. Thank you. Um, but, uh, yeah, I obviously have to document it, you know. And just as the cop was about to release him, Riley said something that grabbed the officer's attention. There will be no arrest. No. Um, is there any, are there any drugs in the car or anything like that? No, no, nothing. All right. Although Riley seemed remarkably composed, there was more to the story than he was letting on. How long have uh, you had this problem, man? It, it, was a, it was a relapse. I've been clean for 13 years. All right. Just went through a really, really bad divorce recently. Okay. Uh, do you know if any of that was laced with fentanyl or anything? Because you were out, out, and like, looked like you were choking. Really? Yeah. Um, That's why someone literally sprinted and, and flagged me down because they thought you were having a heart attack or choking. Uh, I, no, not that I know. For someone who appeared genuinely surprised at that proposition, you'll be shocked to see what this councilman had up his sleeve, or rather in his car. Sorry, can you uh, sit over towards the front of your yeah, car, yeah. please? Thank you. If you're unsteady on your feet, just no, find maybe one of those curves or something. Among the typical clutter you'd expect to find in an average messy car, the officer spotted something resembling a crack pipe. Now that Riley's secret was out in the open, the officer promptly requested that further action be taken. Just hang out in the front while I make this phone call. Thanks. An ambulance was called in order to provide necessary assistance while the cops decided to run a second search on the car. So he has knives too if you don't want to put that crack on. Alright, All right, I'll uh, move down. What's wrong with this guy? So you don't know him at all? You guys don't know. I've never met him in my life. Yeah. I'll stay with Todd so. Where well, was I'll snap a picture of it? It was uh, right in the center council, right there. This individual, who vehemently denied the existence of any drugs in his vehicle, mere minutes earlier, is now the subject of scrutiny. However, law enforcement authorities must first substantiate their suspicions. Uh, if we can get a little bit with the, po uh, the powder. Yeah. I'll uh, do it. He can't put with that stuff. Is, I don't know if that's waste or not. There's white all over there. He doesn't yeah. know. Yeah, I was just telling him the same thing. Because, I mean, you don't fall asleep usually from completely, you know, it's not an opiate. Yeah. Usually. It's yeah. Good enough. Wow. He claims he was tired and he... And he may have sleep apnea, but I don't think that's going to well, Especially like this. Yeah. And what do you know? All of their suspicions checked out. Fentanyl. Oh, uh, cold. Yeah. Crack. Pop for crack. I can test it for fentanyl. Test it for both, just to make right. sure, because I don't know what we're dealing with. Wait, with can him. you just snap a picture of that? Especially yeah. when you put him in a cell and watch him quick. Riley was not just any ordinary man. He was well-versed in the law. As the officers pondered their next steps, Riley decided to play with them for a while. He wants to have his mother come get the car, but I'm not gonna... I wouldn't have... Him. No, I'm not getting in there, no. touching all that. All that white powder, is that... That's a piece that of crack. Piece yeah, of crack. yeah, that's definitely... That's definitely crack. Yeah, you can smell it in there. He's burning up. He has a bunch of toy boy and... Should we have a toy? It looks no, like he's no, like half to... living out of his car. That's like toilet property. Despite Riley's desperate attempt to get rid of his car, the cops knew better. At this juncture, the decision had been finalized, leaving only one lingering question. How would the councilman react to his impending arrest? 
Yeah, I know. It's not like I have, have an option here, man. Sorry. Let me know if they're a little too tight or anything. We can loosen up. All right. There's stuff all over that car. When your mother gets in that car, I bet she sits in that and touches her face or mouth and goes down. I have no That's idea. Though. If you've been observant, you may have noticed that the police adopted a notably courteous attitude towards him following the revelation. And this is likely why Riley chose to confess his crimes plainly and simply. You know who you're buying it from. This, you don't know what people put in it. No, I, I understand. You know, they may have made that person. That's a big rock you got in there. What's that, a $50 piece? Uh, 100. 100? Yeah, so, I just, just got back into this. I, I, you gotta, this is going to, listen, I, this is a terrible situation. We're all in a tough spot, but we got to do what we got to do right by the numbers. It'll help you in the end. Believe me when I tell you. And you'll say to us a month from now, good, best thing that ever happened to me. That's what they all tell us. You can't go down this road anymore. No, no. God forbid we find you dead. That, that would, that's terrible. You yeah. know what I mean? You were down in the car. There was no turning back from this point, and the officer made a special effort to be straightforward with Riley. Yeah, get on a program right away. No, that, I, I mean, I, I look at you. Yeah. You're not the Matt Riley that we know. Trust no, me. So Listen, Thanks, your health and your well-being is worth way more than any political career. And just when you thought Riley was taking responsibility for his actions, he made a peculiar request, one that only someone with significant power could conceive of. Yeah, we'll keep it, we'll keep it. Listen, we're not, we're, we're, we, we don't report nothing to the media unless someone tells them. So, and then arrest records are public record. I'm not gonna lie to you. But, Right. There's, there's, there's not much we can do on this. Unfortunately. If I was in your situation, I'd be in handcuffs. No, no, I'm not saying. You know? Oh, I'm not saying don't rest. Yeah, 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 yeah. In terms of media for the kids, as much as yeah. No, listen. Fire. We are only required to release what we release, and we won't. We have to release an arrest record by law. You know. What followed next was a brief pat down, and just as they were preparing to wrap up and head to the nearest police station, Riley had another confession to make. Hey, it's supposed to be going back in, in tomorrow. Oh, my car's getting fixed. Oh, this isn't even your car? No, it's a right. It's a loaner. Right. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's all shit on the seat. There's all drugs on the seat. Oh, yeah, I mean, I wasn't joking. I have an appointment on, on the 17th. All right. So. I'll crack a window for you in a second. Okay. For a man accustomed to the privileges that came with his position, as the handcuffs tightened around his wrists, the gravity of the situation finally became apparent. However, that didn't deter him from making another request. Yeah, are they tight like they hurt? No, I can deal with it. It's a 10-minute ride. You tell me. All right. The cops were attempting to remain composed. Another stark reminder yet again of the preferential treatment corrupt politicians often receive from law enforcement. How you feeling? All right, I'm talking about I don't want you nodding out or anything. Oh, oh no, no, nothing like that, no. As long as we could get you down to court in time, you're going to be released from court. If not, then from here. Uh, have you been arrested before? Um, years ago. Like recently, recently. No, no, no. Yeah, then you're gonna you're gonna most likely get out fairly quickly. Why the leniency? This is an issue that must be tackled. However, once Riley arrived at the station, the situation changed. Remember how he fervently pleaded to avoid any media coverage. Despite his efforts to keep the afternoon's events under wraps, the incident did in fact become public knowledge. We're learning new details about what led to the arrest of a Cranston City Councilman on a drug charge today. Matthew Riley faces one charge of drug possession, a misdemeanor after police say they reportedly found him unresponsive in his car with cocaine. After these events where the police demonstrated an unusually lenient approach, the court proceedings took a considerably less forgiving stance. More problems for the now former Cranston City Councilor Matt Riley. Today he had his law license temporarily suspended. Now, in addition, a special master has been selected to oversee Riley's client files, and he was evicted from his law office in Cranston on Wednesday. In the aftermath of his drug charge, Riley decided to resign from his position as the city's Republican Party chairman. However, in just under a month, Riley found himself back in the headlines. And this time, the scandal surrounding him was far more sinister. Former Cranston City Councilman has been arrested for the second time in less than a month, this time for allegedly sexually assaulting a minor. 
I'm asking the court to uh, order a competency evaluation of my client, please. According to court documents, the former councilman now faces a trio of serious charges, including first and second degree child molestation sexual assault and enticing an individual under the age of 16. The issuance of Riley's arrest warrant followed a complaint filed with the police by a legal guardian of a 12-year-old girl who has no connection to Riley, as stated in a press release. What's even more troubling is that he actually sought bail from the court. Despite the serious charges against him, he was still attempting to leverage his position of power for leniency. The request for bail following allegations of molestation raises serious questions about fairness for all parties involved, especially considering his position. As law-abiding citizens, it's crucial to voice concerns about such practices. Cranston City Councilman facing both drug and child molestation charges was back in court today, hoping to be granted bail. While many expected the rest of the council members to remain silent in the wake of these developments, Here's a twist. Jessica M. Marino, the council's president, addressed the issue and was unequivocal in her response. It's deeply concerning. Um, it's, it's upsetting. This is not a time for there to be you know, judgment calls. I respect very much the judicial process, the legal process, and it's innocent until proven guilty. This just happened today. I'm sure you know, legal counsel solicitor's office would take a look at that, but I'm not, I'm not aware of anything of, along those lines at this time. Meanwhile, the body cam footage garnered significant attention online, quickly going viral. Even Bruce Rivers, a prominent public figure, created a video addressing the case. His response was notable. I have sleep apnea, sorry. Especially when I do crap. You nod off like that, then all of a sudden, you just stop breathing. And that's how you die. You just stop breathing. And it's a peaceful death, really, because you're not struggling, but you just, you're just, your natural, you know, like if you're sleeping and you stop breathing for a second, you don't get any of that when you do these kinds of drugs. Unsurprisingly, this incident had severe repercussions on his political career. But Riley's lawyer, Michael LaPaisra Jr., delivered a strong message on his behalf. In an interview, he said, I can see the general public and even close friends instantaneously turning their back on Mr. Riley and drawing knee-jerk conclusions. I simply ask everyone to refrain from public ridicule and gossip and allow the legal process to unfold in the ordinary course. We should trust in the system to be the final adjudicator of the facts, the law, and any legal outcome. Well, Mr. Lepizzera, that's precisely my point. We rely on the legal system for justice. That's why individuals like Riley should never walk free again. All it took was a $10,000 surety, and Riley managed to pull some strings. As four months later, he was released on bail. However, the former councilman would be under house arrest until his next court appearance and prohibited from contacting anyone under 18. Given that they caught him in the parking lot, it's likely that his subsequent actions could have been prevented if justice had been swiftly served. Now, if you have thoughts on this case, be sure to share them in the comments below. And if you found this case intriguing, give us a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications to stay updated on the latest cases. While you're at it, why not check out this video? It might pique your interest.